Y'all, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know y'all thought I dyed my hair. I know y'all thought it grew back better than ever. No, baby, this is a wig. So if y'all wanna know the tea, keep on watching. Hey y'all, so let's get into it. So the TikTok girlies have really been getting me intrigued and this wig season. So I got y'all an Amazon, I ain't get y'all, I got me an Amazon wig. And I really wanted to do, because my natural hair isn't giving what it's supposed to give in this current season, in my opinion, I wanted to do a natural hair wig where like a wig that people think is my hair. So I got this wig off of Amazon. I'll link it in the description box below if you guys wanna check it out. I'll put the details on the screen of the name, the length and all of that stuff. But I'm pulling it out of the box and the box is bursting at the seams y'all. It came with a wig cap which is not my color, but it's a wig cap. Um, some sticker tattoos of Snoopy. <laughs> and it also came with some hoop earrings, so I thought that was kind of cute or whatever. So, anyway, I'm gonna take this wig out of the thing and I'm gonna just slap it on. And I know my head look a hot mess because I didn't feel like doing my super braid down because I have a natural hair video to do next week so I just did these four braids but it don't matter because you're not going to see it we'll also go ahead and use one of these wig caps that they sent because the color doesn't matter because it's not a um like this wig don't have no closure or nothing or no hairline so put this on is giving swim cap for swimming lessons. So we got that on and let's put this wig on. Well, first off, let me take the tag off and let me show y'all the inside of the wig. So there's a clip here. Looks like there's two clips on the, on the sides and then on the bottom down here, it has like the the hooks that you can hook to the back piece to kind of make it tighter on your head. And so since I have a small head, I'm gonna just go ahead and put those on before I even put the wig on. And I'll show y'all where I place mine just so y'all can get an idea. For extra security, I like to crisscross these. So I hook them on opposite sides at the back at the nape of the neck. And so it gives me, for my people who have a smaller head, that gives you like a tighter grip. So your wig not all over the place. Now ideally, I would have preferred a, a comb like somewhere in the front or in the top so the wig just don't be moving at the front of the head. But we are gonna try this and see, so. So immediate first reaction is, it's, she needs work, but it's giving. So I'm just gonna, first of all, I love the color. Like, cause the color is giving natural. I'm gonna show y'all another wig that I got. It's pretty much the same wig, but in a different color, but it's not as natural looking as this color. So first thing I'm gonna do is just like use my fingers and like pick out the hair and this is gonna cause some frizz it is synthetic but the frizz is what helps make it look natural so i'm just doing this with my hands so we can get it looking on the natural tip now in the front like i said there's no okay that's a string But like I said, in the front, there's no hairline or anything. So you won't be like pulling this back unless you're trying to use it as like a headband wig or a half wig. Um, so again, just show y'all a little bit of the difference with me fluffing out this side with my hands versus this side. 
Now I'm gonna tilt like this and just rake my hand at the front. And so right now, I can't even see. So, I'm gonna pick a little bit more before I get my scissors. Okay, so I'm just taking my pattern pick. And I'm gonna start by picking like at the roots. Cause we already kind of did the frizzing that we need to do on the ends. And if you have any like straggly pieces, like make sure you pull that excess hair off. And of course you don't want to do too, too much with it because it is synthetic. And so like if you plan on wearing this multiple times or at another time, you don't, you don't want it to be like, you know, too frizzy or too wild because the older it gets as synthetic hair, like the country, crunchier it might get or, you know, the harder it would be to maneuver the curls. So I believe this hair that I have in the top goes like left side or back, but I am gonna pick that out pretty heavily cause I don't want the top to look like wig and everything else not. So just making sure we get that same frizz action up in here. Okay, so just while I have like a wild piece out here, I'm gonna go ahead and just snip that and get it out of the way. So right now, I love this shape. Now we just have to work on this area here. So this is really all the bang action they give you, but that's okay, cause we can cut more bangs. So like, I'm gonna pull some hair kind of from the top forward like this. And then I'm adding that to my bang. So what I'm gonna do is kind of from the side, cut downward. Cause if you cut straight in front of you, like sometimes you might miss the mark and cut too much. So if you cut from the side, like then you can still get that lift. Cause essentially the curls at the top need to be longer than the ones right here in front of your face. Cause it's gonna be kind of picked out in that way. So like you see how that gives it a nice shape and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So just kind of cut these excess curls off. See how that looks. Cut any excess off here. that separate curls are also a good thing to do okay so once you get your bang kind of formed then what helps make it look less wiggish especially on a small head like mine is kind of like carving out the face so like all of this hair that's like sitting right here on my eye if we push it back that looks a lot more natural so instead of pushing it back i'm also just kind of trim essentially trim it to fr frame your face so that right there immediately gave me some some more peripheral vision <laughs> but also a little bit more shape. And I think I'm gonna come just right in here and snip just a little on the ends as well so it can kind of progressively 
trend downward so you see how this looks way more like open way more natural then on this side you can do the same thing so you just trim a little bit of the hair that's like right at your face so your face can breathe a little and then you just want to kind of trim some of the hair that's hanging so it looks like a little bit more realistic I think this looks amazing like if my hair could be this long girl what and it's a wig what it got movement and it's synthetic what so I don't want to stop here why because the back of the head now I'm gonna turn around and show you what it looked like it probably don't look bad but I can feel it in my hands that the curls are not as like frizzy because we focused on the front of the hair so before we get too happy I'm gonna basically just turn it around and from the looks of it it actually don't look that hold on let me hold it Ooh, the back actually don't look too shabby but what I'm gonna do is just fluff out the back while I'm looking at it because the back sometimes is a place on our wigs that we neglect because we don't be looking at it. Think that looks good. Then give it a little pick action as well in the back because you don't want to leave the back out like that. I think that looks good. Shake it out a little bit. Yeah. And then I'm just going to put that right back on. And shaking it back out adjusting where I need to adjust so I think this looks absolutely amazing here's the back hopefully y'all can see the top cuz I know sometimes especially for my shorter people you might like wonder what the top looks like because you have that frizz and all those curls, like you can't see anything. So I'm gonna do my makeup and then y'all are really gonna get into the slayage of this wig. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I wanna dye my hair like this. I do, I do, I do, I do, Ooh, but my, my hair gotta one day. In Jesus name I claim it amen all right I'll be back with you guys after I do my little makeup and then yeah period okay y'all get into it she did her makeup she she fluffed out the hair she got on her lip gloss what y'all think like <laughs> It's giving mine. It's giving my hair. It's giving. It's giving. Y'all, I can't wait to wear this hair. I'm gonna wear this hair to the game. And it's a late game, so I'm probably gonna do. Ooh, I might be able to do another like get ready with me hair, makeup, and outfit. But y'all. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's giving. I love it so much. Okay, so real quick, I want to show y'all how much hair I cut off. Just so y'all like can kind of know. It wasn't much. Like, this is literally all the hair that I cut. And yeah, I'll again check the description box for the link. This wig was, I want to say it was $27.99 prime um and yeah i'll put the link in the description box i'll put the color i'll put the link all of that so you guys can shop it right below but y'all it's giving what i'm gonna do matter of fact before this video go live i'm gonna go ahead and order the black one because i know how y'all do and y'all will buy it up before i can get my hands back on it so i'm gonna buy the black one i'm gonna buy the black one but I love this. I love this for me. Oh, I love this for me. This must this must be how it feel to be Bev with all this luxurious hair. 
Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get out this mirror and stop. You know, I'm gonna go take some pictures actually because this hair is giving. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to do some more Amazon reviews or Amazon wig reviews, or if you have a favorite Amazon wig that you've bought that you want me to try, drop the link or drop it in the comment section below so I can check it out because I definitely would love to do more videos like this because this one bust down okay and i it's wig season and i want to get my hands on some more affordable wigs so y'all please let me know in the comment section below what wig i should try next i love y'all so very much thank y'all for tuning in and y'all never forget at the end of the day without regrets love yourself and be you tiffle bye y'all Yeah, slim rush it.